is a candle in every soul. Some brightly burning, some dark and cold. There is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites a candle, and makes his home. So can. Your world, take your candle and go light your world. Frustrated brother, see how he's tried to light his own candle some other way. See now your sister. Your world, take your candle and go light your world. We are a family whose hearts are blazing, so let's raise our candles and light up the sky. And go light your world Hello church my name is Vanessa Marisa, and I will be presenting day 17 of our TMA. Our key text is, but thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57. Our title is Victory by Witnessing. Before I continue, let us pray. Father Lord in heaven, thank you for this lovely day we have we are having please help us to be able to understand the sermon and that it shall go a long way in our lives in jesus name i pray and believe amen today let us consider the lives 
of one of the greatest prophets of all time. Come with me in your imagination to the Jordan River and let us listen to John the Baptist fearlessly call upon the nation to rid itself from sin and prepare for the Messiah. We hear him telling the people that their standing before God is, not deter is determined by their character and life, not by their professions. We hear him, we listen to John preaching about this a soon coming prince and how people must be re ready for his coming by preparing their hearts. He says that all who become the subjects of Christ's kingdom will show evidence of faith, faith and repentance in their lives of the justice, and mercy and love of God. We marvel at his preaching. Our hearts are drawn to know who this prince Jesus is and how we can be ready for his coming. As we look at John's dress, we can see that it's marked with simplicity and modesty. We, we, instead of the rich robes the religious leaders used to wear, we wonder what he eats and soon discover, instead of feasting on rich food, John eats locusts and drinks wild honey. He does not drink wine or any strong drink so that he can be filled with the Holy Spirit. We marvel at this prophet who would choose to preach at the riversides and rocky valleys. Something wells up inside of us to be, to be a messenger just like John. Yes, friends, we are called by God to preach to others the message of repentance, of sin, and to seek to prepare them for Jesus. The Bible says, Behold, I will send to you Elijah the prophet of the day, the day before the day of the cr the coming of the. I will send to you Elijah before the coming of the dreadful day of the Lord. Malachi four five. The lesson is that the most important thing God expects us to do is to bring others towards Himself, not to towards Him, not to ourselves. We love Jesus, so we want to separate f from the things of this world and and live a life that will please God. Like John the Baptist, we are called to share the love of Jesus with those around us by sharing about uh, by sharing about God's love and by living our lives to preach God. The message of my sermon is that Jesus wants us to live our lives to be a witness that we are children of God so that many may live, love God and live an et eternal life. Thank you. Let us pray. Father Lord in heaven, thank you for this. Thank you for our lesson that we have had today and that we shall be able to have this lesson to go a long way into our lives. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Hi, my name is Jesse Joshua, and I'm going to present a memory verse. It comes from Proverbs 23, verse 26. It says, My son, give me your heart and let thy eyes observe my ways. Amen.